Okay, here is independent activity two. Observe the Venn diagram below and answer the question that follow. So, we will base our answer on the Venn diagram. So, the illustration below shows the data on a survey of the students regarding the favorite food menu in a certain school canteen to serve on lunchtime. The entry on the Venn diagram represents the data surveyed. So, let F fried chicken be for, for pork chop and B for beef, beef stick. So here, F, fried chicken, pork chop, beef stick, 230. Okay, now these are the data given. We will answer all of this question. Now, this question mark is, okay, this question mark is fried chicken only. This question mark is beef stick only. This 80 is fried chicken and pork chop only. This is pork chop. This is pork chop and beef steak only. This is the 65 is fried chicken and beef steak only. Okay, let's answer the question. Okay. So our universal set is 520. So 520. Now, how many numbers or how, how many, uh, okay, students who like fried chicken only and how many students who like beef stick only? How many students don't like all the three uh, menu? Okay. So, from the given we have, so they are, there are pork chop 280, so this is 280. So if you sum up 80 plus 90 plus 65 plus 45 is 280. Now, for beef, st beef steak, 230. So this is the beef steak. If you add up 65 plus 90 is 155. So 155 plus 45, it's 200. But this is 230, so therefore this is 30. Okay. Now for the fried chicken, this circle for fried chicken, this should be 350. 350. When you add 80 plus 90, it's 170. So 170 plus 65 is 235 okay 170 plus okay 170 plus 65 is 235 and this should be 350 235 so 350 minus 235 so this is 5 and this is 1 and this is 1 4 minus this is 4 so it's 115 so this is 115 okay so 115 plus 80 plus 90 plus 65 is 350 now we had already the information now what is this one okay there are 520 students when you are to add all of this, 115 plus 80 plus 65 plus 90 plus 65 plus 45 plus 30, is it equal to 520? So let's add. So all of the circle, all of the circle for fried chicken is 350 fried chicken. So this circle is 350. 350 plus 65. 65 equals so 5 11 1 415 plus 45 plus 45 10 1 6 460 so 60 60 okay plus 30 Plus 30 equals 490. 
So, it's only 490. And there are 520 students. So, you will subtract 520 minus 490. So, 520 minus 490, the answer is, is 0. That's 4. That's 12. 3. So, it's 30. So, there are 30 here. Okay. 30 students who don't like all the three menu. Okay. Now, let's have letter A. How many students like fried chicken or pork chop but not beef stick? So, fried chicken or pork chop or means union but not beef stick. So, disregard all the beef stick. So, the answer is here 115 plus 115 plus 80 plus 65 plus 65 over here 115 plus 80 plus 65 what is the answer 10 1 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 8 10 plus 6 16 bring down 6 carry 1 1 plus 1 is 2. It's 260. Okay. Next, how many students do not like fried chicken? How many students do not like fried chicken? So, talking about do not like fried chicken, so this... Who don't like fried chicken so this is the circle for fried chicken so erase all of them because they don't like fried chicken so you will add 65 plus 45 plus 30 plus 30 okay 65 plus 45 plus 30 65 plus 45 is 110 plus 30 is 140 140 so this is 140 so let us see how many students do not like all three men menus so do not like all three menus so it's complement this question about complement so this the answer is 30 do not like all three menu the answer is 30 next letter d how many liked fried chicken and beef stick and means intersection fried chicken and beef stick so you cover it so the intersection of fried chicken and beef stick so this is the intersection this one so that 65 plus 90 is 155 so the answer is 65 plus 90 equals 155. Okay, now how many students like pork chop? How many students like pork chop? So here is the pork chop. It's 280. Okay. Now, next. Independent assessment number two. Okay. A group of people were asked whether they prefer modular learning or online learning. Out of 1,000 people, 700 prefer modular learning and 600 prefer online learning. So, there are two modes of learning, online and modular. So, how many circles will draw? There should be two circles. And how many people are there? Out of 1,000 people. So, 1,000 people, this is our universal set, cardinality of the universal set. Okay, let's draw two circles for this okay now two circles okay two circles this is for online and modular okay our the cardinality of the universal set okay the cardinality of the universal set is 1000 Okay, now online. Now, 
out of 1,000 prefer modular learning and 600 prefer online learning. So, 700 and 600. So, if you add, you, you are to add 700 plus 600, this is how we will answer this. 700 plus 600 equals 1,300. But there are only, there are only 1,000 in a survey. So, minus 1,000, the answer is 300. So, the 300 should be written at the center. So, there are 300 students who like both online and modular. 300. Now, online. Let's have online. Oh, no. Modular. Modular. There are 700 prefer modular learning. So, 700 and there is already 300. What is lacking to 300 to get 700? It's 400. Now, for online. How many are online? 600 prefer online. So, we have 300 already. What is lacking 300 to get 600? It's 300. Okay. So it's 1,000 in all. Now, here is the question. Here is the question. How many people are there in a survey? So, this is asking about the universal set. Cardinality of the universal set. So, how many people are there in a survey? There are 1,000. How many people prefer both online and modular learning? Both. And means intersection. So, we are talking about the center. It's 300. Okay. Now, how many people prefer modular learning only? So, modular learning only. So, this is only modular only online. So, the answer is 400. Next, how many people prefer online learning only? Online learning only? So, only this is 300. Okay. Now, how many people did not choose any learning modality? Did not choose any. So, we are asking about the complement. Cardinality of the cardinality of the union of online union union modular or cardinality of the complement of online union modular or or here so there is no number here so 300 plus 300 equals 600 plus 400 equals 1000 so zero so zero is the answer Okay, next question. Activity 3. Directions. We analyze this problem carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer from the choices given. For 1 to 3, refer to the following problem. Among the 70 kids so, of Barangay Kulawin, so these 70 kids is the cardinality of the universal set. 53 like eating in Mr. Puto, while 42 like eating in Nina's eatery. Okay, still, for this problem, there are two eatery, Mr. Puto and Nina's eatery. So, there are two circles we will draw. Okay, two circles we will draw. Okay, the cardinality of the universal set, there are how many kids? There are 70. So, there are two circles, Puto and Nina. This is for Puto circle. This is for Nina E3. Now, 53 like eating Mr. Puto. 42 like eating Nina's E3. You are to add this one, 53 plus 42. So, 53 plus 42 equals 95. It exceeds 70. So, 53 plus 43 is 95 minus 70. That is 5. It's 25. So the 25 is those kids who like Mr. Puto Eatery and Nina's Eatery. Now, another information of the problem. 53 like eating Mr. Puto. So Mr. Puto, this circle for Mr. Puto is 53. What is lacking to 25 to get 53? So it's 28. 
Oh, 28 plus 25 is 53. Next is for Nina's eatery. 42 like eating in Nina's eatery. So, 42. We have 25 already for Nina. 25. What is lacking to 25 to get 42? It's 17. Okay. So, 17. Now, we had already information. So, if we sum up 28 plus 25, 53 plus 17, it's equal to 17. So, here is the question. How many like eating both in Mr. Puto and Nina's eatery? Both. This is both Nina's eatery and Mr. Puto. So, the answer is 25. So, here, our answer is 25. How many like Mr. Puto only? So, how many like Mr. Puto only? So, this is this is Mr. Puto only and this is Nina's eatery only. So, it's 28 is the answer. It's 28. Now, how many like eating in Nina's eatery only? So, Nina's eatery is 17. So, the answer is 17. Okay. Now, for numbers... Okay, for numbers 4 to 5, refer to the following problems. In grade 7 Sampagita, 16 students enrolled in the dance class, 20 students enrolled in the music class, and 4 students enrolled both. So, both. So, intersection of dance class and music class. Intersection. Okay. So, enrolled in dance class, 20 students enrolled in, 4 students enrolled in both. So, if each student have to choose at least one. So, here is the question. Now, let's draw again a Venn diagram out of this problem. What are the two skills uh, Skills given? So, you have, there's no given for the universal set, cardinality universal set. Only the given are the cardinality of each of the talent, the dance and the music. So, there are two talents, dance and music. Class, there are two class, dance class and music class. So, sh we will draw two circles. Two circles. This is for music and this is for dance. Now, okay. So, both. So, four students enrolled both. So this is intersection. So there are two four students, both music and and music class and dance class. So this is four. Now next, okay, twenty students enrolled in music class. In music class, there are twenty. What is lacking to four to get twenty? Sixteen. And for dance class. And 16 students enrolled in a dance class. So dance are 16. So what is lacking to get 16? It's 12. Okay. Now, we had already the information here. So 16 like music class only. 12 dance class only. And 4 like both music and dance class. So what is the, quest what is the question for number 4? How many students are in the survey? How many students are in the survey? So this refers to union. Cardinality of union of music class and dance class. So you are to add up 16 plus 4 plus 12. 16 plus 4, 20 plus 12, 32. So there are 32 in the survey. Next. Okay, next. How many students are enrolled in the dance class only? So, dance class only. Okay, dance class only. Dance class only, there are 12. So, the answer is 12. Okay, we had answered already the problem. 